Hey guys, so this week I am back with another book preview video. This time, yep, it's another Art of the Lord of the Rings video. So if you haven't already checked out my previous videos, we've got The Art of the Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers and The Return of the King. So all three films or books. So unlike the other three books, this one is just called The Art of the Lord of the Rings. It doesn't have a specific film tied to it. It's a mix of all three. So I'm going to get straight into this. And the first thing I want to point out I got this on eBay, so it is second-hand or pre-owned, but it's actually signed by Alan Lee, and I presume that's Gary Russell's signature, the guy who's made this book. So yeah, I thought it was pretty cool that it came signed, especially seeing as it didn't mention that in the listing. I've no idea if that really means anything or adds any value, though. So you can pause the video on the contents if you're interested in that. Aside from that, let's get straight into it. So truth be told, this is actually the second time I have recorded this book because the first video didn't work out too well. Um, as always, I struggle to get the lighting very good in book videos, so I might have to just hold the pages up a little bit like that so that you can get a bit of a better shot of them. I actually, when I was searching for this, I found one that had this cover on it, and it was the only one I saw. I thought it was really cool that with that as a book cover. But when I actually messaged the company uh, to double check, they actually said, oh, it's not that cover. They just used a bad image, so I didn't bother with that one. With this being out of the Lord of the Rings and there's already three books, I'm not 100% sure if any of the artworks are actually in the other books as well as this one. So I have looked through this briefly before when I attempted to record the first video, but it was quite a long time ago. And it's been quite a long time since I looked through the individual books as well. So I'm not sure if I would recognise if there was the same art involved. If I had to guess, I would say there probably is going to be some. But I know for a fact that there is some exclusive artwork to this that is not in the others. So it would still be worth getting this book as well. Assuming you are, you know, a fan of Lord of the Rings or like fantasy art. You've probably already seen, whilst I'm skipping through, it's got a lot of colour pieces in these, which is really nice. It does have some pages that are just sketches like this. Um, but yeah, there's a lot more colour in it compared to like the Alan Lee sketchbook and even the John Howe sketchbook for the Lord of the Rings and Middle-earth series. Uh, I would recommend buying those as well. They're really nice. I will put links in the description box below and at the end of the video to all of the videos in this series of the art books. So definitely check those out if that's your kind of thing. And I apologize if I repeat anything in this video that I have said in the other videos, because as I already mentioned, it's been quite a while since I actually made those videos. It looks like this has got some movie sills or photography shots, as well as sketches and paintings. So it's got a little bit of everything. I would say it is primarily, you know, sketches and paintings, which is what you would obviously expect in an art of book. But then there's things like these. I would imagine that's classed as like a map painting, you know, made up from various photos. Either that or it might be a model from the actual film. So John Howe, that's one of the artists I already mentioned um, that I've got the book of. I think it's called A Middle Earth Traveller. There's actually a few Sauron designs throughout the other books as well. And it's one of my favourite things, actually, along with the Balrog designs. I just think they're really cool concepts. There's actually some pretty cool landscapes and scenery and things like that, which you might already know I'm not generally bothered about. I prefer character art and fantasy character art, maybe armour, weapons and things like that, which are all in these books as well. But... When I see it in these books, I actually think the landscapes and the scenery paintings are actually really nice. And if I ever got into that, that would probably be how I would start it, using books like this for inspiration. So these kind of books are obviously not how to draw books. They're more, you know, collector books for anyone who is a fan of the series. But for me personally... I find things like this quite inspirational, quite motivating when it comes to art. So it'd be quite good for design ideas, maybe costume design, weapon design, creature design, um, just to get things flowing. But everybody enjoys them for different reasons, of course. In case you cannot tell, 
Um, these books are based more on Peter Jackson's... Well, they are based on Peter Jackson's The Lord of the Rings. So basically, it's more the films than the books. Obviously, they're quite linked into one another, seeing as it's the same thing. But if you have watched the films, you would probably recognise a lot of the designs. But it's nice to see which ones didn't make it in as well. There's a lot for characters, you know, showing multiple ones already mentioned like Sauron, where you can kind of see some designs that it could have gone with, but it didn't. Again, there's models and photos of things like that. From my understanding, they did use quite a lot of sculptures in the movies, or at least behind the scenes creating the monsters and things like that. She loves Always Popular. But there are some really cool creature designs and maybe not just creature, but, you know, army of the dead, human type characters. Section here for digital paintings. I didn't actually read the contents at the beginning, even though I put that in shot. So I haven't actually seen what this has been broken down into. But we're coming to the end of it here. As I have mentioned, if you do enjoy this kind of thing, definitely check out the other videos in the series. All the links will be in the description box below. There's quite a few related ones. Okay, so these are the three books. I didn't actually show the back of this one, did I? So I'll show that now. So there it is. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful if you are considering buying this book. Let me know in the comments below what you think to it or if there's any other books that you guys want to see reviewed on camera. As always, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching everyone.